Hello friends, Alison Ramirez, Christian author, editor, and content creator, here today to talk to you about some good tools and ways to make your book launch as successful as it can be. So specifically today, I'm going to be talking about what to do um, in the weeks leading up to the day of and then the week after um, your book launches. So this is fresh on my mind because I recently released um, my second self-published book, The Divided Kingdom, which is book one in a young adult dystopian trilogy. And so leading up to that book launch, the day of and then the day after, I had a plan in terms of what I wanted to do for promotions and marketing the book um, to make that release as successful as it could be. So I'm just going to be sharing with you my tips and tricks and some of the things I did that maybe will be helpful to you when you uh, publish your own Christian book. Let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. Okay, so I want to start by saying that for sure, the month leading up to your book launch, you want to be active on social media. So whether or not you're somebody who enjoys social media, who is on regularly, if you have an upcoming book launch one month before, at minimum, you should begin to be promoting, marketing, telling the world about your book. And this can look uh, like a lot of different things. You don't have to be on every single day. I would say the week leading up to your book release, you should be on social media every single day if possible. Um, just hyping up the book, sharing things like early um, reviews of the book, um, like you holding the book, the cover of the book, if you're able to get an order, order uh, an early copy of it before release, um, to be sharing sample chapters uh, or even just sample passages, sample paragraphs. Um, sharing the book blurb, uh, sharing a little bit about the behind the scenes creation of the book, um, getting on both in video format and um, like regular posting image format, um, all about your book just to get the world um, familiar with it. So one month before, um, kind of start coming on maybe a couple times a week uh, and for sure like every day of the week leading up to, and I would say even every day the week after um, the book launch. Uh, to be really, um, as I said, getting the word out about um, this book that you published. Okay, and when I say social media, um, that can look different depending on what like social media platforms you're on. Don't feel like you need to be on every single one, but definitely pick maybe one to three of your favorite platforms to be on regularly. It's better to be on a few and be on those few consistently than to be on all of them and be barely posting. So some of the major ones are going to be Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, uh, TikTok, um, maybe Twitter. These are some of the more popular um, platforms that uh, authors are on and that you're going to be able to connect with your potential readership. So I would say, um, oh, and also your newsletter as well. I would definitely recommend um, having an author newsletter. And so on the day of your book launch, you can send out an exclusive newsletter to those who have um, decided to sign up for it. This could be through your website, you could offer a newsletter, or I think there's um, various platforms where you can just have your newsletter through them. You could be um, including all of your links, like where to purchase the book, where to leave a review, um, any other like fun giveaways or incentives that you're gonna be doing, links to your launch parties, all of that would be in your author newsletter. So for me, I'm on Instagram, YouTube, and I have my author newsletter. I technically on Facebook, but I don't really post that much on there. I really focus most of my time on Instagram and then probably secondly on YouTube and then my author newsletter goes out once a month um, with the exception of when I have a book launch, I would do a special newsletter for that um, in particular. Some other um, optional but fun ways that you can promote your book on release day is to do what's called a book launch or a book release party or celebration. This can be virtually and or in person. Um, with my first book, my uh, Breathe Deeply devotional journal, I didn't do any book launches, any book releases, but um, for this past book, The Divided Kingdom, I did uh, um, like a 30 minute um, a celebration where I had a link and people could join up. Uh, and come online and I read a sample chapter. I did some like fun like online games. I did a giveaway. I talked about the, um, the behind the scenes of publishing the book as well as um, hinted at the future book project. So it's just a great way to actually connect face to face with your readers um, and for them to help you share that celebration of your book. 
So you could do that. Uh, if you're someone that doesn't really like getting online or leading like parties or celebrations, you could also have um, an interview or a few interviews um, scheduled for the day of your book release. I actually was able to have a um, short like Instagram interview um, with someone who promoted my book. Uh, you could have um, in person or online interviews scheduled just um, to use other connections of other people that you know and admire to uh, help you share your book. Uh, some people like to have what's called a launch uh, team or a um, street team where you have a group of people who beforehand you send them things like promotional graphics for your book, you send them um, ARC copies which is basically an advanced reader copy usually in a um, an online like a PDF format so that they can read the book and not only provide you with early release or early reviews the day your book comes out but they'll also with those promotional graphics on the day of your book release they'll share on their social media um, celebrating uh, in your book getting launched and released out into the world so you could do book launch parties you could do have interviews lined up for your book you could have a launch party team of others helping to promote and market your book um, and then one of my personal favorite um, approaches to the book launch day is to do um, what I call um, incentives or gifts um, to your readers. So for example, I had um, something going where anyone who purchased the paperback book um, the day of release all the way through the very first week, if they filled out a special form, uh, then they would also receive a character arc bookmark, a signed book plate, as well as um, emailed the first five annotated chapters and a behind the scenes book creation video. So these are like other little fun giveaway gift items, either like physical items that you send to them in the mail or digital items that you email to them as thank yous for buying the book. Um, and it's super fun to like coordinate that with your actual book itself. So for example, I had a, um, an awesome uh, artist work on a specific character arc bookmark for my book. So I, like on one side I had a quote from the book and on the other side I had pictures of my two main characters. So it's just a fun way for someone who bought the physical version to like have a bookmark that goes along with your book to mark their page as they're reading. Um, signed book plates are super fun because um, if somebody buys your book online, they're obviously not going to have it signed by you. But a signed book plate is like a little sticker and you can design it like how you want to have it designed and have it sent to you. And then you can sign like the sticker and then mail them the sticker so that they can put the sticker of your signed autograph on um, their book. So stuff like that is really fun um, to do. You could also give away like stickers or I've seen people give away like prayer cards like uh, associated with their book. Um, yeah, even some people like to give away little things like like candles or um, like bath bombs or chapstick or anything that like if it has to do with a theme or an element in your book um, you can, and you don't mind shipping out those items to people as thank yous, then um, those can be really fun um, ways to uh, give extra thank yous to those who buy your book and I just did it for the first week So it wasn't like you know, you're having to send out all these things like weeks and months after your book release It's just something fun to invite people to really take advantage of the newness of the book being out into the world Finally some other ways to keep interest in your book and to get your book out into the world is to um, find local um, book events in your area maybe um if it's not too expensive to pay like the table fee and have like a little table um, with your book at it, maybe at like a local church or a local parish. Um, I actually have a local bookstore that lets me come in a couple times a month and have a little table with my books. Just a way to get out into the local community, get out into your local libraries, um, sharing about your book and having an actual physical booth or table where people can approach you. You can give them a business card, you can give them um, like, yeah, any little incentives with your book and you can have a little sign, maybe a picture of yourself, a nice little tablecloth as a way to get the word out about your book. Um, you can also continue to reach out to various podcasters, various um, blogs and websites, try to get features and various promotions for your book um, as well. Uh, I've, I've personally never done paid marketing for my book. I know some people who have and have found that really successful, so I'm not going to particularly go into much detail about that, but if that's something you're interested in, you can look into paid marketing options. I know Amazon KDP has that option. Uh, I believe um, like Instagram might have that option. 
Um, and I would also recommend having your book up on other book review platforms, like having it up on uh, maybe BookBub or Goodreads or places where people can um, like find out further about your book. Um, and also leave reviews on your book as well. So I hope that this video was helpful. If you're nearing a book launch um, for the first time or if this is a book that you've had out or one of many books that you're going to be putting out into the world, I hope that some of this advice and tips are helpful. Also, don't feel the need to do every single thing I mentioned in this video. As I said, uh, I've published two books. My first book, honestly, all I did was I just hit submit and my book went out into the world and that's basically all I did. I think I posted like maybe one post on Instagram that my book was out, but I didn't like, at that point I didn't have an author newsletter, I didn't do any like book gifts or book incentives, I didn't have a launch party, I didn't have a launch team, and the release still went fine. And I would just say do what's comfortable to you and if you are someone who's planning to publish multiple books, you'll have lots of time to add more to your release launch repertoire in terms of approaches and tactics and things you do for marketing and promotions and it's never too late if you didn't do much for one of your books releases doesn't mean that you can't um like go all in for um like getting the word out about it even you know months to years after it's been released it's never too late uh and so i just um i'm cheering you on encouraging you with um, whatever books you're working on and i hope that you're able to get the word out about them and that you have interested readers and that they inspire and change lives so take care until next video uh happy reading and writing